Hey guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm going to show you three awesome Power BI tips that were part of the December 2023 Power BI update. Hey, before we get started, if this is the first time you stop by this channel and want to master Power BI, this is the opportunity. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss anything. So now let's do this. The first feature that I want to talk to you about is related to the on object interaction updates. As you may remember, this new feature was released a few months ago and it's still in preview. That means that we have monthly updates. And one of the updates that I really like is related to the classic layout. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna love this as well. So if you select this visual, which is a table, a metrics, so now you can see the option here to add data to your visual. You also have the option here to add or remove visuals, to format your visuals. So it's right there. And some people don't like this, okay? And for those who don't like this approach or this layout, we have the option to have a classic layout. What does it mean? Let me show you. Let's go over the gear icon right here. If we click on this option, this new window pops up and now under report settings, pane switcher, now you have the option here. It says always show the build and visual menu in the pane switcher. Let's select this option and see what happens. Now we can see the classic layout, the layout that we used to have in the past before the unopted interaction was live. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. If you select the visual again, now you don't have the option here anymore. So the option is right here. If you want to add visuals, if you want to add data. So let's say that you want to add here a different visual. So we can do that real quick. So now if we want to add data, we can do this quickly. We go over here. And as you can see, this is very similar to the classic layout. That's why they call it classic layout. So let's go over here, profit, boom. And then if you want, you can also add dates as part of the X axis. Now, as you can see, you have the previous layout. You can play with the previous layout and start adding data to your visuals. Like I said before, some people like this classic view, this is classic layout, but others don't like it. It's up to you. But now you have the option as part of the December 2023 Power BI update. Now let's move on and talk about the new formatting settings for bar and column charts. Okay, so this is a cool one as well. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Control C real quick, Control V. Let's duplicate this visual. And then let's start making the changes that I'm talking about. We have here the classic layout. And then if we select the visual, let's go over format. Let's hit column. So now you have the option to add transparency here. How about 40%? Check this out. It looks a little bit different. So the main goal here is to start playing with your visuals and make it more attractive visually. So now you can also add a border here. Check this out. I like black here and then transparency. I don't touch this and then for width. So how about three? And you can keep playing with this feature as well. So let's keep moving here, layout. So for layout, I wanna see here space between series. I would give this two or three, check this out. Three, this looks so much better. You can also change the order here, reverse order. Check this out. You can do that. See, it's up to you. It's up to the story that you want to share with your end users, right? So let's leave it as is for now. And then you can also solve that value. See right there? It changes. Like I said before, this is up to you. I'm going to turn this off for now. But now you can see the difference, right? And here, for example, for Carretera, we can also change the color of the labels. So let's do that real quick. So let's go over data labels and here, Carretera for value. So let's select here just black. So in that way, you can see the contrast better. There you have it. Like I said before, I personally like this visual better, the, the one on the right. It gives you more power to tell a story. It's more visually attractive, like I said before. So now let's move on to the next one. So now let's go over our last tip, suggested content 
and PowerPoint. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Let's go over PowerPoint real quick. This tip is a really nice one for those who wanna use the Power BI service and have live reports, live visuals in PowerPoint. So how does it work? So now with the new release, you can add here the title, for example, let's see, let's talk about Power BI updates for now. And then let's go over insert and here add ins. So let's select Power BI. Here we are connecting to the cloud, to the Power BI service. So it's gonna take a few seconds here. Connect to your account. So now you will see the results here. So what's going on here? I typed, remember that, I typed Power BI updates here. And then automatically, once we connect PowerPoint to the cloud, to, to the Power BI service, automatically you will see a few options here. Recommendations, right? Related to the title that we just typed. Here, for example, we have Design and Power BI reports. Power BI update September, and also we have here March 2023 Power BI update. There you go. You can choose from these options. Let's go with the second option here and let's see what happens. So it's loading. Now you have here a report with three different pages and you can start playing with it. So for this particular one, let's say that we care about this visual right here, but also I don't want to give people automatic access to this data. So you can do that as well. You can uncheck this. But if you want to give people access to the data set, you can just hit this option, select this option. Okay. Like I said before, for now, let's select this visual, the profit over time, and let's hit insert. Let's see what happens. So it's loading, it's thinking, boom. Now you can share your Power BI visuals, live visuals that are in the cloud, in the Power BI server in Microsoft PowerPoint. So this is a really, really cool feature. So let's keep playing and let's add one more, okay? Right click here, new slide, just for the example. And let's talk about the PL300 exam. So let's see if I have reports related to the PL300 exam in the cloud, they might show up here as part of the recommendations. All right, so let's do that. Insert, let's go over add-ins here and then let's hit Microsoft Power BI, and let's see what happens. We are connecting here to the Power BI service, to my account. So it's thinking, check this out, my friend. Boom. So now you can see here, the recommended options have the PL300 phrase that I wrote, that I typed a few seconds ago. And then you can select the option that best match your interest. For this particular one, let's select this one, the first one here, and then you can do the same thing. It's a matter of what you are trying to achieve with these reports, okay? For this particular one, this is information about the PL300. By the way, if you wanna learn more about this exam, I created a tutorial. I'm gonna share with you the link so you can check it out. So let's go over the next page. Here, I have the hours by subcategory. This is the time that it takes to study for the test. This is this visual, so let's insert. And then here, boom, this is the visual that we care for this presentation. There you have it, my friends. I hope you found these three tips very, very helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe because it is free, all right? Thank you guys for your time and see you in my next tutorial.